I love 75% layout keyboards. For me, it's the perfect combination of something that's compact, but still has a functionality of the F row up top here and extra navigation along the side. And we're starting to see more options available from bigger brands. This is the Corsair K65 Plus. Now I know that naming is a little bit confusing at K65, but it's actually a 75% layout. But that's what we have here, the K65 Plus. Now this one is wireless, it's hot swap, has two layers of sound dampening built into it right out of the box, and it's coming in at just $160. When compared to some of the competition from Razer and some other brands as well, that puts it in a pretty sweet spot for everything it has to offer. And the build is actually delivering a pretty good typing experience as well. So let's dive in and check it out and see if it's something that you might wanna pick up. Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with 9to5toys. We're checking out the K65 Plus today. Now this might seem like Corsair's answer to Razer's Black Widow V4 75% that did pretty well when that was released, but there are some key differences here. Mainly, it's much more affordable at $160 compared to $190, and it's wireless. So you have either 2.4 gigahertz wireless with the included dongle, or you have a Bluetooth mode, and you can also swap between Windows and Mac OS modes. And there are legends down here that work in for both systems. So right out of the box, there's a lot of extra functionality here. And while wireless keyboards don't really hold the same special place in my heart as wireless mice, I don't necessarily find myself moving them around enough to really warrant spending more money for a wireless variant, it can come in handy, and with the Bluetooth mode and the Windows and Mac mode, I also think that makes it much more convenient. So if you want, you could use this with a gaming PC and also with a Mac laptop, you know, if you're out on the go somewhere or just want something with, you know, a different typing experience that rather than the normal Mac experience. So right there, there are more use cases for this. I know that my wife enjoys being able to pull her keyboard closer to her when she's typing, so she enjoys a wireless keyboard. But moving on from the wireless aspect of it, let's talk about the overall design. Now, I have been using the DropSense 75 since we did that review. I absolutely love that keyboard. I think it's very stylish. It looks and feels good. And the K65 Plus is kind of in that direction. It's relatively simple, but it does have a few accents on it that make it feel a little bit more gaming focused. I mean, it is a gaming keyboard. The shell is plastic and there are a few accents around the perimeter that just make it look more like a gaming keyboard. It's not as sleek as something like the Sense 75. Additionally, there is the, you know, two-tone keycap steam up here. We have the Corsair escape key up here, which is a different color. It's kind of like a gunmetal silver and it has the uh, Corsair logo on it. And then the gunmetal knob up here as well. Along the left side of the keyboard, there is a little micro switch where you can instantly turn on and off the RGB. So obviously being wireless, RGB will play into the battery life. And so if you just want to kill the lights and uh, save some juice there, that's very easy to do. Along the front, there is a USB-C port, the three-way toggle for wireless, off, and Bluetooth mode. We also have the toggle between Mac and Windows mode. And then we have a little place to store the wireless 2.4 gigahertz dongle when you're not using that. On bottom, you can start to see a little bit of kind of the Corsair design aesthetic, as well as two stage feet to change the angle of the keyboard, which is something that the DropSense 75 does not have. And taking a look at the RGB here, you can see I've got my studio lights, 100 watts uh, set on max. We have windows open. It's not a dark room. You can see that the RGB is still plenty visible in here. I do think that the RGB is brighter than something like the DropSense 75. So if that's something you're really interested in, that is very strong on this keyboard. All right, moving on, let's talk about the overall build. First up, the K65 Plus is weighing in at just over two pounds, two pounds, one ounce, or 936 grams. So it is a little bit lighter than the DropSense 75, but that's still pretty beefy for a keyboard. And you know, that's something that gives it more of a premium feel as compared to something like the Razer Huntsman Mini, which had all the you know high-end features, optical switches, but felt very light and just felt very lightweight and didn't feel like a high quality product because of that. But thankfully we've been seeing big brands take notes from more you know enthusiast oriented keyboards like DropSense and 75 and others and add some features in here to the build that make it a better typing experience and make it sound better and you know feel a little bit more premium. So for the K65 Plus, Corsair has put two different layers of sound dampening in here. There is a silicone pad in the base, 
which as you look at it, you can tell, you know, it's branded Corsair. It's very specific for this keyboard. You can tell it's very specially made for this. And then in between the top plate and the PCB board, there's also you know, a pretty thick high density foam layer. And so I was really surprised, you know, I wasn't really able to squish it or move it very much. So it is pretty high density. So out of the box with those two layers, the K65 Plus sounds and feels great with its red linear Corsair MLX switches. And of course it is hot swap, so it's very easy to swap. And I usually prefer a tactile switch, so I ended up picking up some Gateron Baby Kangaroo 2.0s, put them in here, and absolutely love how they sound and feel. The combination of those two layers of foam, those switches, and the PBT keycaps on here makes it for a really great typing experience. And so here we'll do some sound comparisons so you can hear what the stock switches sound like, the Baby Kangaroos that I'm using in here right now sound like, and then also a little bit of the Holy Panda X from Drop. We included the drop Holy Panda X switches because if you buy this keyboard from Corsair's website, they'll actually give you a 50% off coupon for those switches. So it's a very much more affordable way to get into some different tactile switches. Now, personally, I prefer the baby kangaroos that I have in here right now to the Holy Panda X, but I do believe that drop has a newer version of that switch that is hand lubed. So that might be a little bit of a different experience, but for me personally, I prefer the Baby Kangaroos. And I'll put a link down in the description if that's something you wanna check out. That was a recommendation from a viewer in one of our live streams. If you wanna join in the live streams, make sure you're subscribed. Usually Tuesday afternoons and Wednesday evenings, we go live and either talk about tech or do a little bit of gaming. So we'd love to see you there. Talking about the keycaps, right out of the box, they look very sharp. Like all the legends on there are very sharp, but when you look a little bit closer, it does seem like there's a little bit of a misprint or things weren't lined up perfectly. If some letters are perfectly centered in the middle of the key, while some are kind of off to the left or to the right. And if you look down the profile of the keyboard, you can see that the F5 through 8 are lower on the keycap than the F1 through 4. And while I don't really mind that much as I'm not necessarily staring at the keyboard and the keycaps that often, that is kind of where it starts to show, you know, it's a little more budget friendliness is that, you know, maybe there were some more inconsistencies with the printing on the keycaps. Corsair has also opted for PCB mounted screw in stabilizers. These have a more solid connection that helps to limit movement and vibration. And this also helps deliver that premium typing experience and sound. And touching on battery life, Corsair has put a 4,200 milliamp hour battery in here that they claim can last up to 260 hours with RGB turned off. In use, I've been having to charge it every two days or so with RGB turned on and the brightness fully up. So obviously you could get some better battery life by turning that down, but if you do wanna use all the bells and whistles, that's about what you can expect. So overall here for $160, I really am very impressed with what Corsair is offering. Wireless, you know, it's a feature, take it or leave it. Might not be something that you really need, but if it's something that you do want, this package has everything else to support that. The typing sound and feel right out of the box is great, but it's also hot swap, so it's very easy to change. Everything is pretty standard on here if you do wanna end up changing your keycaps. You know, obviously down the road, I would love to see, as this is more of a custom style keyboard, I'd love to see some more options available for either colorways, for keycap layouts, and then obviously have some different stock options available for these switches as well. As a tactile fan, I would love to see a tactile option that would come, you know, at that stock base MSRP. But of course, being hot swap, 
You can always change that up if you want to. That's kind of the fun of these keyboards is you, you pick it up and you have it for years and you can kind of change things, try different things and kind of play with your experience a little bit. All right, that's gonna do it for our review of the Corsair K65 Plus. If you wanna chat about it, join our Discord. There's a link down in the description. You can get in there and chat with other people, chat with me, and then also check out our live streams, usually Tuesday afternoons, our Tech Talk Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings doing a little bit of gaming as well. But let us know what you think about the K65 Plus down in the comments. If you're looking for some other videos to watch, a link to our review of the Sense 75, as well as our most recent video. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so others can find it easier and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys. to